So in this video, we're going to show you how important audio and how you edit that audio is in your videos. back to the film stock youtube channel we are chris and christina and we're here to help you make better videos and empower your inner video creator before we get started don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any future video tips so let's say you want to make a short video downloading some stock footage or recording your own footage is one part of the process and the other part is audio, and this involves music, sound effects, or even a voiceover if necessary. So as you've seen from that little sequence at the start of the video, I quite like old motorbikes, and I wanted to put a little sequence together and use audio and edit it in certain ways that help create a better sequence. So let's jump into Fillmore 11, and I'll show you just how you can do the same. So just before we get into this one, you will obviously need to download Filmora 11. The link for that will be in the description below. Okay, so I've got all my clips laid out on the timeline in a rough order. Now I need to find myself some music. You can find music for your videos by simply clicking on the audio tab up at the top here. Then you can narrow down your search by picking a genre of music on the left hand side. I wanted something with a grungy rock sound to it for this one. So I clicked on the rock tab, searched through the songs and found one that I thought would work. When I have my music on the timeline, it's always a good idea to lower the music a little as it can often be too loud if you just leave it as is. I normally set the music to around minus 10 or minus 15 dB which normally works pretty well. I then cut my clips to fit the music which really helps make things flow a lot better as you watch the video. Another thing I often do is fade the music out at the end of a sequence and I did that once again with this sequence. This can be done by double clicking on the music and then increasing the fade out value which will decide how long the music fades out for at the end. So when you're trying to make a good video sequence it's all about blending things together. So from your video clips to the music and the sound effects and anything else that you might have going on. So if you can learn to do this well, then you'll be well on your way to creating great videos. The next thing I did was add some sound effects. I wanted to add a sound effect to make it sound like the motorbike was just starting up. I clicked on the audio tab and this time I chose sound effects. After a little bit of searching, I found a motorbike sound and placed it under the clip. I adjusted the volume so it wasn't too overpowering and then faded the audio in and out just to tie things together a little better. This is something you should almost always do with sound effects because you want them to be quite subtle so it isn't totally obvious that it's a sound effect. On one of the clips where the person is driving the motorbike, I decided to keep the audio from the original clip and underlay it below the clips on each side so the sound just continues on as if he was driving down the road. Again, this just helps tie those tree clips together. I used the fade in and fade out on this once again and this time I used a wind noise removal option which is in the audio panel. So if you double click on the clip and then go to the audio tab, this is where you can find the wind noise removal. This clip had quite a bit of wind noise and it just helped tone it down a little which made it more usable in the video. In the audio section there is also an option for denoising audio. This can be useful if your mic picked up some background noise and you want to remove it and make the audio sound better overall. And that's pretty much it. That is how I edit audio for little sequences like this. It's all about blending things together and allowing the sequence to flow nicely. So now you can use those audio tips to help you put together your next video sequence. So just remember that when you're creating your videos, the audio is as important as the video clips. So hopefully you find this one helpful, keep creating and we will see you in the next one.